Hi there, welcome to the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson, and this is a Saturday edition of We Are the Church. And a very happy Saturday to you, friends. I'm glad to be with you on this uh, Saturday morning. Um, just a few brief words. I'm going to be reading from uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. And Paul here is talking to a, uh, a primarily Gentile uh, community who are concerned whether they, or not they are uh, truly one with uh, the apostles and the others who are in Jerusalem and from the Jewish background. So Paul is summing up as he writes this. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple into the, into the Lord, in whom you are also built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. It's a beautiful image, isn't it? The idea of the church uh, worldwide as a, as a temple or a dwelling place for God so that we no longer have to make a pilgrimage to this particular geography or to that particular geography. For me, as a pastor, on this particular weekend, it's a very important idea because the community where I serve has a large uh, street fair and it completely takes over the area where our congregation normally has its Sunday worship. And there's not much parking to be had. And we are all um, in various degrees of being able to walk uh, at various distances. So you know what? We're going to be worshiping online this weekend, not because there's COVID in the air, but because coming out of the COVID pandemic, we have the ability to be the body of Christ together without physically being present every time. You know, Paul was saying the same thing. Because of the Holy Spirit, the body of Christ may have been built on the foundation of the early apostles and may have had its genesis in the temple area of Jerusalem, but the body of Christ has become a worldwide uh, event and uh, each generation receives these, uh, these words of grace and uh, takes them to, to their own heart and they become part of the body of Christ. So tomorrow on Sunday, we are going to worship together, but we will not be physically present, and we are still a temple, a dwelling place for God. That is such an encouragement to me. So um, I hope that wherever you are in the world that you're planning to be in worship, and if you can't be in the place that you call your home church, that you will understand and uh, realize that as you worship at the same time as your brothers and sisters, as you worship in spirit and as you connect with Christ, you are being connected and built into a great household of faith. In other words, you're not nobody. You're somebody and you belong. You belong to me. You belong to Christ. We belong to each other. That's an encouraging and an uplifting word to carry through a day. And so on this Saturday, I encourage you to carry it through your day as you look forward to time with the Lord on, uh, on our Sunday worship. So that's it, friends, a very simple message. Remember, you belong. You're not isolated. You're not a stranger. You are connected through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ to one another and to the Lord. Let's pray. We thank you, O oh God, that we are a connected people that we are part of your worldwide body. We thank you for those saints and those prophets, those apostles who laid the foundation upon which we stand. For surely, Lord, our faith is not something we have done for ourselves. So we praise you, O oh God, for including us in your grand vision of peace, justice, righteousness, and, um, and joy for all of the world. All praise be to you on this beautiful Saturday. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. And again, friends, thank you for being here. You can find We Are The Church actually every Monday through Saturday right here on this YouTube channel. It's a joy to be with you in these moments. And where I'm living, there's a very, very hot day forecast um, in, the, in the 
uh, hundred tens. And so uh, I encourage all of you to make sure that you're drinking your water regularly. And also to remember that our marching orders are to do no harm, to do all the good we can, and to stay in love with God. And I will see you soon.